Hey, Devil Eagle. I enjoyed seeing your rockets last week. You know, one reason it's so hard for rockets to get up into space is because gravity is really strong. You can feel how strong gravity is when you jump in the air and immediately you come right back down. But not everywhere has the same gravity as Earth. Some planets have less, like Mars or Mercury. The moon has very little gravity at all. Imagine how high you could jump on the moon. Some planets have more gravity than the Earth, like Jupiter or Saturn. Our sun has the most gravity of anything in our solar system. In fact, its gravity is so strong, it holds all the planets in their orbits around the sun. Earth's gravity keeps the moon rotating around it. Kind of like how this tail keeps this ball rotating around me as I spin it. Even though the moon has less gravity than the Earth, we still experience some of that gravity on the Earth with the tides. Have you ever been to the beach and noticed that sometimes the water comes up really high on the beach and sometimes the water is really low and you can find lots of seashells? These tides are from the gravity of the moon pulling on the Earth. The sun affects tides on the Earth too, but not as much since it's so much farther away. Gravity is stronger the closer two objects are together and weaker the farther apart they are. Even though gravity is invisible, we experience it all the time. Once spaceships leave the Earth, however, they leave behind the effects of its gravity. Can you imagine living without gravity? Like if you jumped, you would just keep going? Well, the astronauts on the International Space Station are experiencing life without gravity right now. Well, it's not exactly zero gravity. There is still some gravity from the Earth as they orbit around it. But because of how far they are from the Earth and the way the space station moves, they experience essentially zero gravity. They sleep without gravity in little sleeping bags that they strap into cubbies inside the space station so they don't float away. They eat meals without gravity, but they can't put their food on a plate because it would float away. Instead, they usually squeeze food from pouches to eat, kind of like squeezy applesauce if you've ever eaten that. They also brush their teeth and wash their hair without gravity. They can't use a bath or shower though. Instead, they squirt just a little bit of water onto their hair or skin and rub it in to get clean. On the space station, they have to exercise because without gravity, their muscles don't have to work very hard and they would get very weak. They also have to spend a lot of time maintaining the space station. If they have to fix something outside, they put on spacesuits so that they can breathe and stay at a good temperature while they are fixing the space station. But the real purpose of being at the space station is to do science experiments for things that we can only do in space. Engineers making satellites and spacecraft need to test their materials and electronics to make sure they still work in space where it can be really cold or really hot and there's a lot of radiation from the sun. They also do experiments about how things behave differently without gravity. Plants grow differently, like these radishes. So scientists are working on what kind of soil and lighting work best and how to water them so that they can grow well in space. They're also studying how fire behaves differently without gravity. On one study, they were sending a pod full of trash from the space station back to Earth. On its way, they started a fire on purpose inside the trash pod so they could see how fire behaves differently. They found that fires tend to burn slower and also steadier without gravity. This can help astronauts know how to stop fires in case any occur in the future. For your STEM assignment today, I want you to come up with an idea that could help with life in zero gravity. Try to imagine what life would be like on the space station with no gravity and what would help. For example, you might show how you could serve your favorite meal in space where there's no gravity. Or you might design a game that you could play without gravity. You might have an idea for an exercise machine or a way for astronauts to keep all their tools and papers from floating away while they're working on them. You can draw, write, or make a model of your idea and then take a picture and share it with your class. I hope you stay safe, have fun, and keep inventing.